creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you some of the random new finds that are awesome that I just found at the Dollar Tree. Now when I say random, I mean random, but they are still really cool finds. I'm also bringing to you some new Crafter Square items as well that I just found not even two weeks after I found all those amazing new finds by Crafter Square that I brought to you. I'm excited for these finds. I also want to tell you that I am bringing to you some of the items that I picked up for some upcoming DIYs, items that aren't particularly new, that maybe have been around a while, maybe have been hauled before, but because uh, the numbers are really surging where I live for the virus. I live in California, I will tell you that, and I am in the LA County area. And we are considered the epicenter of the virus right now. And our numbers are just exploding. And it's looking like they are going to roll back on some of the restrictions and implement them a bit more. And it may even be a new stay at home order that is implemented. And with that being said, I really am just trying to limit going out again unless we need essentials. Because I'm not real sure what's gonna happen, I really felt like it was important that Kayla, Allie, and I go to a few stores yesterday and we pick up some items to get us through if a new stay-at-home order is implemented because the last time we weren't prepared for it and so we really were just going off of stuff that we had here in the house to keep us busy. And so this time I wanted just to be able to go out and let Allie pick up some stuff to keep her brain busy, to keep her happy, whether it's a puzzle or something to color. I just wanted her to be able to pick out some stuff that she could do. And so the same with Kayla. And as for me, I wanted to pick up some items that I could craft with and bring to you more DIYs because my crafting from my stash series is very limited now because I really was doing a lot of DIYs just using items in my stash, which was amazing because I got to work through those. But if there's a new stay at home order implemented and I'm in my house for like another three to six weeks, I don't want to go out for craft items. And so, um, I wanted to pick up items so I could just DIY, stay in the house, and keep us safe. And so a lot has been going on with me and the family over the last couple of weeks. And so you'll want to stay tuned for my upcoming vlog. And I'll let you all know. I think I'll bring it to you either Sunday or Monday. And I'll also be bringing to you some of the finds that I found at Michael's that I'll be using in some upcoming DIYs as well. But for now, I just wanted to let you know that I probably won't be bringing to you a Dollar Tree haul again after this one anytime soon, because if I need to go into the Dollar Tree, I just kind of want to go in and get out instead of kind of lingering around and looking for stuff and filming it while I'm there. And so that'll just be the way it is for a while. But for now, this is the last one and I found some really great new random finds that I wanted to share with you. So if you like anything that you see, you might want to keep your eyes open for them at your local Dollar Tree. So let's jump into it. Alrighty, so today we're going to start off with three of the new Crafter Square items that I found that I think are pretty cool. I found these craft aprons that are stain resistant in three different colors, red, yellow, and green. It says they're 20 inches, but the picture seems to be a little deceiving because it looks a little bit longer than 20 inches, but I picked up two of them anyway. I also found this brush and pencil organizer that holds 49 pencils and brushes. I thought that this would be perfect in my craft cart that I move around with me. I've been waiting for these to come to my Dollar Tree, these green eight inch cutting mats by Crafter Square, of course. Boy, do I have a hack for you with these that you're gonna wanna stay tuned for. 
to keep me going a bit with some Dollar Tree DIYs, I picked up a couple of these surfboard plaques. They had two different shapes and styles. I think I have a DIY in mind for these. I just gotta work out some of the details. And last summer, they had these adorable mason jar plaques that were so stinking cute. So I picked up four of these because I've got a couple more DIYs in mind using these as well. Now, how about this cool find? These are Shape Stencils by Heidi Swap. Not sure who she is, they're minis. And this is what comes in each pack. Oh, this here must be Heidi Swap. She's got some cool stencils here. This set here is a stencil frame. These look amazing, I can't wait to try them. And I just thought these were so cute. These ladybug picks, I found these in the floral section. These are just so stinking cute and I could tell that the ladybugs would come right off the wire pick. And it's a three pack, so I picked up several because I think they'd make for really good embellishments. I found this fun summer dish set. This is a plastic set. I didn't find the whole set. I found the plate, the bowl, super cute bright and vibrant, something fun to have outside by the pool or at a picnic. Found the kitchen towel and I also found the dish drying mat. Along with that, I found the oven mitt and a pot holder. What a fun set to have during summer. Now this is something new that I'm so excited. These beautiful decorative chargers. We've all seen the gold and silver ones with the beaded edges. I am loving the edges of this charger. A lot of you may not know, but chargers are a decorative plate that you put under your dinner plate in place of a placemat. And so I've had questions about that in the past, and so I just kind of wanted to clarify that. I also found this gold rectangular serving tray. It is plastic, but this goes along with those gold and silver beaded chargers that the Dollar Trees carried for so long. I think I've shown you these foil pans before by Jiffy. This one here is a pie pan with a lid. These are amazing. If you're one who uses foil pans, you'll want to keep your eye open for these at Dollar Tree. They're very durable. They're a good quality pan. I'm impressed with these. I love that the Dollar Tree has them. I found them in several different types of pans. This lasagna pan. They've even got a loaf pan that I didn't see this trip. If you're one who uses foil pans, definitely want to keep your eye open for these your next trip. In the candle section of Dollar Tree, you're going to want to keep your eye open for these gelato scented candles. I found them in four different scents, peaches and cream, melon, this rum raisin, and raspberry. These are a smaller candle, but let me tell you, when I took the lid off, they smelled amazing and I don't typically buy candles for scent at the Dollar Tree, but I did pick up two of these because I really liked the look of them. I burned them and let me tell you, they smell amazing and I've got a paper crafting gift DIY coming up for you using these. Now how about these stinking adorable candles? Oh my word, when I saw these, I just could not get over how cute they are. This is an ice cream cone where the wick is at the top of the ice cream. How stinking cute is that? Life is sweet. Love grows here on this adorable cactus. Now these are not candles that I would burn, but how fun are these to gift to somebody to maybe put on a desk? Oh my goodness, do not worry, be happy. I love these. But my favorite one is this next one here. No hurries, no worries with this adorable sloth. I also picked up three sets of wax melts because I'm bringing to you a stinking adorable paper crafting DIY for these wax melts that you're not going to want to miss. And another DIY using some of these scented votives and tea lights and that will be a paper crafting DIY that I bring to you using these. Oh yeah, and I can't forget this incense stick holder and the incense. Again, another paper crafting DIY for these as well. This I think is super cool. 
these ceramic plaques that are double-sided that you add your own message to either I would guess using a dry erase marker or a sharpie how amazing are these these are absolutely gorgeous and would look beautiful at a wedding for table numbers or guest names or even at a buffet table stating what each dish is I also found this paper roll this is craft paper it's a runner 24 inches by 20 feet long which is amazing would you look at how thick this roll is typically you can find a craft paper roll that's much smaller than this in with the wrapping paper this one is huge i picked up one of these because i will be using this in an upcoming diy now i know this is totally random but i found corsage pins 90 of them in the floral section i thought this is pretty cool because they have the pearls on the top and they can be used for so much more than just corsages and I just love that I found these so I picked up a box. If you like Pond's products, I found some products by Pond's. This is a beauty cream for normal to dry skin and I also found this Pond's Clear Solution Facial Foam. I think it's pretty cool that Dollar Tree has products by Pond's. This was another cool find by Spa Naturals, Coconut Oil Moisturizing Body Oil. Now this is something I like to use while I'm in the shower before I get out and dry off. It's really great for your skin and right about now it's probably really good to put on your hands with all the hand washing and hand sanitizer that we're all using. I picked up two of these color correcting minis. These are a sponge that you are supposed to use with your concealer so you don't mix and match when you're using them. I tend to use a lot of yellow and green concealers and so I like that I will have a specific sponge now for each of those. These are the perfect size. I think they're gonna work well so I picked up two items that I said if I ever found at the Dollar Tree I was picking up more because I hauled one a while ago this veggie storage container can I just tell you that these are amazing I store my fruit in them and I tell you it really helps with the life of my fruit if you see these I definitely grab them now I know this is totally another one of those random finds. This is a front seat floor mat by Driver's Choice. It measures out at 16.9 by a little over 24 inches. I think that this is a great find because it really helps to save the everyday wear and tear of your floor mats in your car just by placing this on top. And on those rainy days, it keeps your floor mats from getting wet and muddy. Because I've been doing so much painting around my house lately, I decided I was going to repaint all of my doors and so I picked up these 3 inch rollers. Now the roller that's on it isn't really the best, I will tell you that now. It kind of stinks. but. Dollar Tree does have this two pack here and these are amazing and so I picked up a couple of these because you can very easily switch out the roller and these are really great for doing doors. Along with my doors, I'm also touching up my floorboards, so I picked up one of these 1.5 inch angled brushes. These are perfect for going along that edge where the floorboard meets the wall and the floor. And again, this is another random find. I found these workbooks for language arts and math for grades K through five. And so I picked up a couple of these because I like to give Allie a page out of each to do a day just to kind of keep her brain working. There were some random finds in there, a lot of them. But if I'm being honest, I think that the floor mats were one of my favorite ones, believe it or not, because I think that it's just something that's really useful and it's really gonna help to protect your car just by putting them down and saving the floor mats of your car. I picked up a couple of them for Kayla and so I thought that was a pretty cool find for a dollar. I hope you all enjoyed today's new finds from the Dollar Tree and some of the items that you can expect to be seeing in some upcoming DIYs that I'll be bringing to you that I stocked up on. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to you guessed it. 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Stay tuned for my update and my life, what life has been like over the last couple weeks for me and you will be seeing that either Sunday or Monday of this week. 
Until next time, everybody, I hope you're staying happy, safe, healthy, and positive, and bye for now. Thank you.